So this is our uh, Shincom internal communication system. Um, it's a shipboard tactical communication system that goes both plain and secure communications. So what we have here is our next generation terminal, which modernizes the user experience of the terminal. We've done a bunch of working groups, uh, incorporated feedback from the customer about how to use our terminals and the ease of use of the UI, user experience, all that, and built that into our new user interface here to make uh, phone calls internal communication system. So this one particularly is targeted towards secure voice communication system and the US Navy will use this on their DGG CG ships and will use them for communications plain and secure. This one here is then for the IVIX communication system, the internal voice communication system, which is the plain side of the tactical communication system of the US Navy. Yeah. It's a new form factor that we've developed using the same common core of this terminal mounted into the form factor that they use for the IVIX system. So this one is a four-channel uh, version of the common terminal. We support versions that are two-channel, four-channel, or five-channel versions. That depends on the configuration at the central switch. And uh, if you configure it as two channels, it'll only show two channels on the screen. If you configure it as four and five and such, it shows the amount of channels that are configured. The user is enabled to press on any channel to proceed making the call. And as you can see, it's making calls on multiple channels to the same terminal. So both these terminals now have connected two different calls on two separate channels. Um, now another thing that's worth mentioning is that both these channels are spatially separate in audio as well as visibly. So you will hear in your ear this channel on the left ear and this channel on the right ear. So the, the user can always distinguish from which channel his audio is coming from just based on listening on which side of the headset it's coming from. So what we've done here is we've taken the same common terminal uh, core that is usually mounted into a console over here uh, and mounted it inside a new form factor uh, or the same form factor for the IVIX customer who is using the CT uh, desk form factor. So this is usually mounted on a desktop or bulkhead mounted um, and both are supported in this configuration um, and they also give them the capability of using the the handset to answer with push to talk or not and um, fully hands-free operation as well. So the advantage of using the same system across multiple allies is uh, that they can interchangeably use our, uh, our communications on any of the allied ships that they were to be present on and so they can make the calls uh, that they need to make under stressful conditions or under emergency conditions regardless of which Navy that they're on because it's all the same user interface, all the same system. Besides the US Navy we deliver this system as well to the Australian Navy among others, um, the Japanese, the Korean Navy and the Canadian Navy as well. In this uh, form factor, we've gone away from uh, custom hardware and um, you know customized for purpose hardware and virtualized our terminal into an application uh, format where it can be loaded into any um, ruggedized tablet or laptop and make the same uh, calls that you make with the custom form factors that they're used to. So the same UI has been ported into an application format that can be used in virtualized applications in the future. So here he would uh, basically um, make the phone call the same as he would in, in the actual terminal. And they connect uh, directly to each other for their existing terminals that they have on the ship. So it's backfit compatible. And um, they have the same user experience, but from any COTS piece of hardware that they would want to use across the ship. So they have any sort of display or any um, sort of laptop to use, this would be the, the application that they could load on it and it ties back into our existing communication system that's already on there. This is connected through an Ethernet um, wire and it uses voice over IP technology to talk to the existing telecommunication system that we have on the ship already.